Hey, welcome. What we want to do in this lecture is we want to create a new collection called bias where all our bias are going to be stored. Okay. Now to do this, we have to go back to our VS code and then the controllers folder and then the odds underscore controller the dash file and we can use control and B to make this work. And in order to save data within the Firestore database or within the Cloud Firestore, we're going to be needing the Cloud Firestore package. And remember, we had earlier installed that, right? So what we can do is we can create a variable to store the Cloud Firestore package. Okay, over here, we can create a finder and we can just go ahead and specify it is a type of Firebase Firestore. And we can call this underscore Firestore and it's going to be equal to Firebase Firestore and dot instance. Instance. Okay, great. And after we have successfully created the user within the authentication tab, we also want to be able to add that user within the Cloud Firestore database, okay? And now, it's gonna take some time to create that new collection called BIOS, or which is gonna be called BIOS. And what we can do is, we're gonna be using the await over here, and we can then call the underscore Firestore and dot collection and the name of the collection is going to be called bias and we have to go further by saying the doc and the name of the document is going to be the user uid and over here you can see we have this variable called creed and basically this variable called create has access to the properties of the created user so what we can do is we can call the creed and we want to get the newly created user and we just want to get the UID. Same scope. And now we then have to say dot set. And over here, we need this. And the first field we need is the email. Email. And the second field we need is the, sorry, we cannot save the password or we do not want to save the password for privacy. And we need the full name. Full name. And lastly, we need the phone number. And phone number. Okay, use control and to save and this is basically it. After we successfully created the user and the authentication, we then want to add that user to the Cloud Firestore database. And also we can update our res variable to equal success. Sounds good. And I think currently my app has stopped, but hopefully yours did, did not stop. For some time now, I've not restarted this, and now I can. Okay, over here, I'm just going to rerun this, and hopefully yours is going to work as expected. You can just go ahead and test this out, and you're going to see a new collection called, you're going to see a new collection called BIOS, and you're going to see the name of the document, which we said is going to be the UID of the user, and then you're going to see uh, the fields. Okay. And in the next lecture, we are just going to continue from here.